I hereby declare this inaugural ceremony to be open. Dr. Tripathi's dedication to UB and to SUNY began, of course, in his role of, as provost. Uh, remarkable strides have been made at this university through his academic leadership, creating groundbreaking approaches to collaborative instruction and research, and I would say fundamentally a model for the rest of the State University of New York system. When I was a young student in India, I hoped that one day, through hard work and dedication, I might become a high school principal. And so I'm deeply humbled by the remarkable opportunity presented to me today. Today's ceremony is the focal point of a week-long university-wide inauguration celebration with the theme, Local Impact, Global Reach. Presidential inaugurations and investitures are a time-honored tradition, and it's really important that everyone feel part of that tradition, and this is really an opportunity for our students to be engaged in that. As we look to the future, I am confident that President Tripathi will help lead UB and the Buffalo Niagara region to its highest aspirations. I'm pleased to announce today that the University at Buffalo has received the largest gift from an individual in its history, $40 million. This historic gift arrives at a time of great momentum, the plans of moving the medical school to Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Daily, I witness the outstanding scholarship, teaching, and service of the faculty here that takes place in the classroom, the studio, the theater, or in the laboratory. When pharmacists, physicians, nurses, physical therapists, etc., all are working together, they bring their own unique perspective into the patient care, and that helps to make sure that the patient's getting the best care, but the safest care, too. For researchers, this is an extremely beneficial event because we are able to learn from the problems in the community and ground our research in problems that are more meaningful for people in our community. UB remains Buffalo's great hometown university. We also serve the entire world as a major public research university of 21st century, one that draws students and faculty from across the globe. Today we're outside trying to get people to help spread the word of peace for the United Nations International Day of Peace. I say to you that you have found an extraordinary leader of global stature who at once is a scholar, a navigator, an advocate, a conciliator, and an entrepreneur. Those are precisely the qualities required of a great leader for a great university. I have set a goal of growing our faculty, adding 300 new professors over the next five years. In addition, we plan to raise $200 million in endowment for student scholarship. We cannot achieve this excellence alone. We will turn to UB's loyal alumni and friends and invite them to help UB realize its fullest potential to change the world. I asked Ralph, what message did you want to deliver today? And he said, tell them you're the most important player on our team. I'm proud and honored to be associated with this uh, University of Buffalo and, and having something to do with this, uh, with this research center. On behalf of the Tripathi family and our friends who have traveled from so far to be here today, We'd like to thank you for welcoming us and making us feel such a great part of your family. We can trace our ancestry back for hundreds of years, and in every generation, there have been family members who have served as educators. So Dad, as the new president of UB, keep up the good work. We are thrilled to be here today 
to bring you our love and best wishes. Now more than ever, the world needs hope for the future. The world needs the very best you we can give it. Working together, I truly believe there is nothing beyond our reach.